Check with the plastic in the salt and sugar you use at home. It found that microplastics were present in all types of salt and sugar samples in the form of fibers, pellets and pieces of films ranging in size from 0.1 mm to 5 mm. Iodine-rich salt was found to have most amount of microplastics. Several salt and sugar brands in India have been found to contain microplastics. An organization called Toxics Link conducted a study by sampling various brands of salt and sugar available in the market and found microplastic particles present in them. Plastic particles smaller than 5 mm are known as microplastics. They took 10 types of salt such as table salt, rock salt, sea salt and local raw salt which were purchased both online and from local markets. It found that microplastics were present in all types of salt and sugar samples in the form of fibers, pellets and pieces of films ranging in size from 0.1 mm to 5 mm. Iodine-rich salt was found to have most amount of microplastics. The study says that iodized salt goes through more processing than raw or rock salt. Along the way, it comes into contact with many types of machines and equipment, increasing the chances of picking up microplastics. Apart from this, the environment where iodized salt is made already has more plastic particles, which makes it even more likely for them to mix into the salt. The smaller the plastic particles, the greater is the possibility of them reaching our body. Generally, these microparticles of plastic enter the body by swallowing, like with food items and by breathing. Different studies have found that microplastics can harm the body. Scientists say that consuming a lot of microplastics can raise your risk of allergies, thyroid issues and even cancer. If ingested, microplastics can harm our cells and that can reduce the body's immunity and can also cause neurological disorders. Apart from this, microplastics can disturb the intestinal microbiota. They can impair digestion and immunity. If the intestines are not healthy, then they not only affect the brain but also the liver and many other tissues. Given that microplastics can affect the gut, prolonged exposure to them can have widespread effects on the entire body. In a study published in the journal Environment International, the presence of microplastics was also detected in the placenta or umbilical cord of unborn babies. FSSAI or Food Safety and Standards Authority of India expressed concern over microplastics being found in food items. It recognized that microplastic pollution is an emerging threat that needs immediate attention. The objective of a scheme launched by FSSAI is to develop a protocol regarding microplastics. The body said more robust data will be needed to fully understand the impact of microplastics on health.